Hi everyone, it's day 22 of my tech challenge and today I'm going to be creating a Slack app that uses the slash command feature. So I add the slash command feature, create the new command, give it its name, give it a description. And I would give the request URL as my endpoint but I haven't created that yet. So now I'm going to go and create that. So for my endpoint, I'm going to do an Azure function just because they're really easy to create and deploy. So the Slack app will send a post to your endpoint. So I'll remove that get and leave the post. I can clear out all this, I don't need it. And this is the response format that I need. So I need a response type, which basically says that I want to respond in the channel. And the text is the message that I'll send back to Slack. So for my code, I basically want a list of uh, quotes. And I want to randomly select it and send it back. I'll skip the um, code for um, creating a list of quotes because it's a little bit boring. So there's my quotes, and I want to get one at random. And I'll make an extension method for that. So I need a random generator. And I'll return the um, a random item in the list. That's pretty much my code, it's pretty simple. Um, I can run and test this in Postman. And I get a response so I know it's working. I've set up a GitHub action to deploy it to Azure. You can check out one of my previous day's um, challenge and it'll show you how to do all the Azure setup if you need to. Or you can use your endpoint. I've copy and pasted my Azure endpoint in and now I just need to distribute my app. So you install it to the workspace. 
this is the app credentials you actually should be checking those as well but I'll do that later I first want to check that I've got my app working all right so if I go to um, slack and try my slash command There you go, my quote showing a random quote. So now I want to add the checks um, to make sure that it's a valid Slack request and not just someone random trying to use my API. Doesn't matter too much in this case, but basically I use the timestamp and the body and the signing secret to compute a hash and compare that to the X slash signature header and if they match then it's a valid um, slack request and if they don't then it's not. All my code for this is on github so check it out in your own time. And I'll provide a link to the Azure setup in the description below.